yet another story of people inside the Beltway partying like it's 1989 surfaced just less than a week ago. A Enjoying these videos? Don't forget to show your support. Hit the like button and share to spread the word. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest content. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We're always open to suggestions. Also, visit the website at jamesanthonyreport.com to support our Patriot-approved sponsors. Your purchase keeps us on the air and ensures we continue providing you with info on the topics you like most. Now back to the report. Come on, man! No would he close it down falls, the oil industry? It falls, would you close it down falls, the oil industry? By the way, I have a transition from the oil industry. The first presidential debate heading into the 2024 election is scheduled for June 27th on CNN. The Biden White House only agreed to debating Trump if it was moderated by CNN, without a live audience, and only if a microphone kill switch was implemented. For the good of our nation, it is time for Crooked Joe Biden and myself to debate. We have to debate. It's for the good of our nation. For months, Donald Trump has stated his desire for the opportunity to once again pitch for Team America, but jokingly called for some stipulations of his own. So I think we should call for drug tests on the debate. Yeah. We're going to call for drug tests. We're going to call for drug tests. And so the stage is set again for Trump to debate Trump on the most pressing issues facing America today. Okay. Will you remember that Texas? Will you okay. remember that Pennsylvania? With so many of them having been brought to the minds of average, everyday voters by Trump himself, as far back as 2015. But the saddest thing of all is that crooked Joe Biden has turned your state and the entire country into a dumping ground. As Biden is reportedly set to reclassify marijuana, as a Schedule Three drug, far from the decriminalization he'd promised the last time around, or Vice President Kamala Harris's lies about pardoning tens of thousands of marijuana convictions. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> Yet another story of people inside the Beltway partying like it's 1989 surfaced just less than a week ago. A bag of cocaine was found on the floor of the U.S. Capitol Police Headquarters in Washington. And just about 10 months ago, a bag of cocaine was found inside the White House. I think something's going on there, because I watched his State of the Union and he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end, he was fading fast. There's something going on there. I want to debate, and uh, I think debates with him, at least, should be drug tested. I want uh, Mr. Test. President, are you I suggesting think. President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not, hey, he was higher than a kite. Folks, as we fight inflation, you can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. Bringing down gas prices is a big part of the job. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-American. We have a country addicted to pharmaceuticals, a raging homelessness and mental health problem, and spending is out of control in Congress. Perhaps Trump is right again. Perhaps a drug test is in order for everyone sitting in Washington. This is James Anthony. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. Reporting. I myself would never recommend going on the stage with Donald Trump, but the president has decided that's what he wants to do. I think the format he is suggesting is a good one. I think you all should have separate town hall meetings with them, let them challenge them with questions about the future, and uh, let the public make its decision.